Morning, students. And as we've been going through factoring, and we're going to finish with what we call uh, perfect uh, square trinomials. So trinomial means three terms. Uh, perfect square are numbers such as 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 196, 225. These aren't all of them. But all a perfect square is it's a number times itself. So 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25. So we're looking for these type of numbers. So we're looking, if you look at it, what we're going to try to find is where is a perfect square, the first one and the last one. Do I see any of these type of numbers in the first one and the last one? If we do, then we are going to just, well, you'll see, we'll factor them out, we'll put them in perfect square, so 16 will break into 4 and 4. And then we're going to see if that middle term follows. The middle term would be 4 and 5. You multiply 4 and 5, your first number and your last number, and then times it by 2. If it does it, then we can just quickly put it in factored form. So this is what we're going to be looking at. The other one that we have is, so these are perfect square trinomials. So you have these three terms, trinomials. Now if I have two terms, then we're going to see if it's a difference of two squares. So is the first number a perfect square is the last term a perfect square? So we'll go through um, a number of these. So starting out with, uh, with these ones. So as I look at it, I come here. First number, x squared. So that's a perfect square. x times x gives me this. x times x. This 9 is 3 times 3. So I just multiply 3 times x is 3x, and then times it by 2. So I'm going 3 times x times it by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6x, six is that the middle term? Yep. So to put it in a perfect square, that's really what it's saying, or to write in factored form, it'd just be x minus 3 times x minus 3, or x minus 3 squared. That would be our answer. Come to the next one. Okay, 4 is 2 times 2. To get x squared is x, so it's 2x times 2x. To get to my last term, that's 5 times 5. So now I multiply 2x times 5 times 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 2, so this would be 20x. All right, is that my middle term? Yep. So now we can just write it in factored form. So 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5, or right, it's 2x plus 5 squared. So again, the reason it's addition, because that middle sign's addition. The reason this is subtraction, because that middle sign's subtraction. So I go to one like this, 81. 81 is 9 times 9, and x squared is x times x, so it's 9x times 9x. 49 is 7 times 7. So now we multiply 9x times 7, that's 63, times that by 2, which would be 126x. Hey, that's what it should be. Since that 1 is subtraction, then it's going to be 9x minus 7 times 9x minus 7, or 9x minus 7 squared. So those are, if I look at these, these are perfect square trinomials, three terms. If I go to these last term, they're a difference. There's two terms, two squares. This is x times x. This is 11 times 11. So these are both perfect squares. So we just go x minus 11 and x plus 11, and you're done. If you switch the order, if you put plus first and minus second, that's okay. Come here, to get 144, that's 12. To get x squared, it's 12x, so that's 12x times 12x. 25 is 5 times 5, so these are both perfect squares. It's a difference, we're subtracting. So that would be 12x minus 5 times 12x plus 5. So as you go through, pay attention for perfect square trinomials. Again, the list I have written, I have that written on the top of your paper. Look for those type of ones um, as you go through it. So if you see perfect square trinomials, you can shortcut it. 
Rather than drawing the X and going through it there, you can go through it this way. You could still draw the X and multiply. It would just take a longer. Uh, multiplying 81 times 49 and going through it that way, you would still find it. It'd just take longer. So we're looking for special cases. These are two special cases. Three terms, one, two, three, and two terms with those perfect squares.